Hello, and welcome from the University of Florida. I'm Tim Brophy, Director of Institutional Assessment. First, I want to say what an honor it is to receive this designation from our colleagues at the AACNU, APLU, and NILOA. We deeply appreciate the time and effort that the review committee spent to review our assessment processes and consider our institution for this recognition. Now it's my pleasure to welcome our president, Dr. Kent Fox. I am incredibly proud that the University of Florida is receiving this Excellence in Assessment Award. What's so significant about this award is this recognition of our success in continuously improving education through integrating assessment practices all across our very comprehensive and broad university. An achievement of this magnitude is only possible with shared effort, and I'm thankful to everyone who contributed. Our 64 assessment and accreditation coordinators, the 587 assessment oversight faculty in our 16 colleges, and to Professor Tim Brophy, Director of Institutional Assessment and for his leadership. Through assessment, we all make our educational efforts and outcomes even more exceptional, ultimately benefiting each of our students. Thank you, Dr. Fox. Student learning is at the heart of our institutional mission, and the improvement of academic programs and student learning is a driving factor in our assessment work. As a comprehensive, decentralized university, our approach to assessment is framed to provide institutional consistency in programmatic assessment development and annual reporting. As Dr. Fox mentioned, there is a significant cadre of faculty, staff, and administrators who lead engagement and assessment at the University of Florida. At the institutional level, our Academic Assessment Committee reviews and approves all academic assessment plans. At the college and unit levels, our assessment and accreditation leadership network oversees the assessment work engaged by their faculty and staff. At the program level, our assessment oversight faculty develop and implement their assessment plans and then, guided by their analysis of the results of student learning, modify and improve their plans and processes. Here is Dr. Eric Black, the Senate Co-Chair of the Academic Assessment Committee. I'm proud to be part of the University of Florida assessment community. In my field, health professions education, assessment is rapidly evolving, addressing community issues of equity, incorporating community health needs, defined competencies, self-regulated, flexible learning options, and a movement beyond knowledge-based assessment. The University of Florida's institutional assessment infrastructure has been a strongly influential partner and collaborator for the six health science center colleges and our more than 8,000 learners. UF not only leads in the process of education, but also the scholarship of education. UF generously supports an annual assessment and higher education conference and has developed a robust academic research and evaluation methodology program that attracts interdisciplinary graduate students from across the university. It's an honor for UF to be recognized for excellence in assessment and a privilege to be involved in the assessment community at the University of Florida. Thank you, Dr. Black. Our institutional assessment and effectiveness practices and procedures are implemented through the University of Florida's assessment system. Now, the assessment system is a coordinated and carefully designed set of processes and tools used by university assessment and accreditation coordinators, administrators, and faculty to submit, review, and store academic program assessment plans and data reports. We currently track the assessment of 573 undergraduate, graduate, professional, and certificate programs annually. We also engage and develop the assessment of major institutional programs and initiative. Here is Dr. Andrew Walpert, director of UFQuest, our university's reimagined general education program, who will share our approach to assessing the UFQuest student learning outcomes. UFQuest is an ambitious program that is revitalizing general education at the University of Florida. Assessment has been a key component throughout the development of the program. Every Quest course must go through a pilot stage. Faculty are expected to evaluate their courses and consider what changes they need to make for students to achieve the learning outcomes of the program. At the same time, we also conduct a rigorous assessment of UFQuest. In fall 2019, the UFQuest Assessment Task Force was charged with developing an assessment plan. The task force developed rubrics 
to assess at the institutional level the various artifacts that students produce in UFQuest courses. This year, faculty are conducting a pilot assessment of their Quest courses with those rubrics. We intend to use their feedback to modify the rubrics, and then after the assessment plan has been finalized, we intend to use faculty findings to assess the aims of the UFQuest program. Assessment allows the program to grow and to keep moving forward. Thank you, Dr. Walpert. As we continue to use our assessment results to improve our institutional and programmatic assessment processes, we take inclusive action to address relevant assessment topics that impact the entire university. Our newest initiative is the appointment of the UF Task Force on Equity and Fairness in Assessment, led by Dr. David Miller and Dr. Teresa Matahi. Here is Dr. Miller to describe the task force and its charge. It is an honor to see the University of Florida being recognized for the faculty and the administrators important work on assessment. It is important to recognize the role of effective assessment in the teaching and learning process. Effective assessment lies in the three foundations of validity, reliability, and fairness. I'm glad to be co-chairing UF's Task Force on Equity and Fairness that is currently developing guidelines to ensure that our assessments fairly measure learning for all students, regardless of gender, ethnicity, race, or disability. This will ensure that the assessments are fairly used and are equitable for all students in measuring learning at the University of Florida. Thank you, Dr. Miller. Another of our major initiatives was realized in 2020 with the public dissemination of our Student Learning Outcomes Visualization Project. We achieved this milestone in collaboration with our Office of Institutional Research, one of our primary partner collaborators in assessment at the University of Florida. We will continue to update this visualization annually, which provides an at-a-glance look at the learning achievement of our students at the institution, college, and program levels. Finally, I want to emphasize that our primary assessment resources are our people and their talent and their expertise. From the assessment oversight personnel at the program level to the leadership at all levels of the university. The trust we have built with our constituents is our primary currency and we continue to excel with the good faith of our faculty, administrators, and staff. We continue to learn from each assessment cycle and revise and improve our processes to strengthen planning, reporting, and student learning at the University of Florida. Once again, I want to thank the AACNU, APLU, and NILOA for honoring us with the Excellence in Assessment designation. We will continue to honor this designation through our ongoing commitment to improving assessment and student learning at the University of Florida.